out of his skull over an Apache torture fire. And I guess most of us were thinking of him as we headed toward Fort Bowie with Lieutenant Jonathan Davenport as Merriman's replacement. Replaced by someone who believed that an officer had nothing in common with an enlisted man. Well, in his case, it was true. And maybe it was also true, as the lieutenant stated, that the Indians hadn't launched a major offensive for some time. But if the Apaches weren't actually at war for the moment, I knew they weren't ever at peace. Not that my sergeant stripes entitled me to an opinion in Lieutenant Davenport's estimation. But so far as he was concerned, the Indians weren't on the warpath. There was no need for a rear guard. And it was degrading to have been assigned to a routine patrol. He hadn't been around long enough to learn that nothing was ever routine along the Tomahawk Trail. Every man jack of us knew that Lieutenant Davenport had cost us a number of lives. Our supply and ammunition wagons, all but a couple of our pack animals. But when we made bivouac the next night, he was still full of confidence and orders. Our camp was laid out in accordance with a chapter he'd read in Napoleonic campaigns. every last one of you pulling extra duty for the loss of these horses. What do I have here, a cavalry patrol or an old lady's sewing circle? Sir? Who are you? Private Tim Reynolds, sir. I thought I could explain about... In my outfit, privates don't explain. That's up to the sergeant. Sergeant McCoy! Yes, sir? Suppose you tell us, sergeant, who's responsible for the loss of our mounts. You, sir. Just what do you mean by that, sergeant? The lieutenant may remember I told him that in Apache country it isn't usual to tie the horses up away from the men. He may also remember he said he didn't like the horses disturbing his sleep. Never mind the explanation, Sergeant. Tell the men to fall in. We're going on to Fort Bowie. On foot, sir? Yes, Sergeant, on foot. The lieutenant's new to this part of the country, so perhaps he doesn't know the Apache are on the warpath. They'll be stalking us every step of the way. You heard my orders, McCoy. Sir, I'd just like to say I know the Apache. They must have had a reason for stealing our horses. They know where routine patrols like ours are headed. Maybe they're planning to hit Fort Bowie. It's true, this is my first mission against Apaches. 
And it's true, this is my first mission with this outfit. But it's also true, McCoy, that I'm the lieutenant and you're an enlisted man. Now, you heard my orders. Any questions? No, sir. Any sign of him? Uh, you know the Apache?